am not going to lie. The only reason I bought these lights was because the advert that said, it's bright when people come and people die when they leave. That is a terrible translation, but strangely irresistible. And I think someone on Facebook posted this and I thought, that's quite funny. Uh, and I went to the listing on AliExpress and intriguingly, they offered two versions, switched and induction. Now, induction with uh, the Chinese lights, it, it means the password infrared detector. But the one with the switch, and I guessed maybe it doesn't have the password infrared detector, uh, it was more expensive. And I thought, I wonder why that is. So I ordered one of each and they arrived. And it's quite intriguing because uh, they have a slight design flaw. You see, the difference between the two lights is that they both have the password infrared detectors. I'll zoom down this. Zoom in. But the one with the switch does actually have the switch for switching it on and off. This one doesn't have a switch for on and off. And uh, it also lets you choose between the password infrared mode or just lit all the time. So the other one uh, is a lot simpler, but it does have this really weird defect, which means that when this arrived, the battery was stone flat. It was like completely flat. And watch this. If I put this light in the box and I trigger it, keep in mind that uh, I'm going to have to actually cover the light sensor to trigger this. And then, uh, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Hold on. Let's trigger it. I put it into the box like this, right? And I'm going to turn the light off. Watch this. So it's glowing inside the box, but after a while it will go out. It can't detect any movement through the box because it's blocking the long wave infrared that these detect. But it goes off and then it turns itself back on again. And it will do that until the battery is flat. Watch your eyes. The light is coming back. It will literally just run all the time. And the battery voltage was super low. And I've worked out why this is happening. So I'll show you the circuit boards and how they've economized. So here's the standard one, and I have featured this in previous videos. I've featured a couple of these in previous videos, including a faulty one. So the standard one has that extra switch. It's got a diode, and it's got the usual password infrared detector, and then a dedicated chip for that. And it's got things like a resistor for the LEDs to limit the current through them. The charge circuitry is a USB, uh, mini USB port, micro USB. It's got a little decoupling capacitor. It's got two resistors for the uh, the charge chip. One sets the current, 4.7K, and one is in series the LED just to show it's charging or not charging. It's just a single LED that goes out when it's charged. Uh, other than that, it's got a couple of programming resistors. Well, actually, I think this was in the series with the sense pin of the Passion Fred module. But when you look at the economy version, they have got rid of lots of things. They've got rid of the switch, they've got rid of that diode. They have the same circuitry for the charge circuitry, the 4.7K programming resistor, the 1K resistor for the LED and the decoupling capacitor. And they've got the little decoupling capacitor here and then a divider resistor, one mega ohm in series with the formula potential divider with the, well, it's marked CDS, cadmium sulfide. I don't think this is cadmium sulfide. I think it's just a silicon photodiode. But um, that is what they're using, but it stays active all the time. What they didn't realize is that when you put it in the box and it shields the passive infrared detector so it basically sees a pitch black room, the gain increases so high that it starts basically detecting noise and that's causing it to false trigger. Another thing that's worth mentioning about this is that uh, they have got a track, the positive track that's powering this is running round these LEDs and then it's looping back and coming back to the circuitry, which means there's going to be a significant voltage change when the LEDs turn off, particularly given there's no current limiting resistor. Um, but I think the main thing here is that uh, the sensitivity is just going off the chart and that's what's causing it to false trigger. However, there is one very nice feature for those of us who scavenge street lithium because they've made the circuit board much smaller and it did take a charge the lithium cell although it was down at one volt that's not great uh, i'll zoom down this the big advantage is because they've made this smaller 
you can fit a standard 500 milliamp hour street lithium out of a uh, inhalation devices that you might find lying in the gutter and you can fit another one in here and uh, that means you can increase the capacity that the cells in these are normally just like 200 milliamp hour but now you can add to potentially 500 milliamp hour lithium cells in parallel in place of that one or in parallel with it and that increases the capacity by five or more times which means it's going to run for a lot longer time However, as long as there's a slight ambient light level, or not light level, ambient thermal radiation in the room, basically objects the room just emitting some background level of heat, this unit should work okay. It's just when you completely screen it that it goes berserk. But that is it. Strange wording. I wonder how that translated through to, to be such a funny description. But um, that is the evolution of these. They're cutting components out, they're skimping down, they're trying to make it as cheap to manufacture as possible, getting rid of the switch and everything. But when you get it, and they must see this in the factory, they must see that they're triggering and going on and off in the boxes. I wonder why they still... <laughs> that's China. Uh, that's what they sometimes do. Uh, instead of saying, well, we've got a problem here, they just bang them out. Um, but that's it. So, interesting evolution. Not a great evolution, but an interesting evolution, and certainly the fact that you have a bit more space for cells does potentially mean that it's actually going to be a more useful light as a result.